Education reform in the United States has turned into a blame game, with fingers pointing everywhere. It's their fault, it's your fault, it's my fault. But while others look for someone to take the fall, here's what's going on at the ground level. SEAM is reimagining education by striving to make education in Missouri better by focusing on the students and their learning before everything else. Parents are desperate for good relationships and productive dialogue with teachers. Parents lack any form of accessible, transparent information. There's simply no way to know the quality of their children's education until it's too late. Maybe your child's education is amazing. Maybe they're happy, successful, ambitious, and you're satisfied with their school and your relationship with the faculty. You are excited for their future and you are ready for them to graduate and start their lives. For every family that can relate to that statement, there's another family. This family is desperate for options and needs help finding the right school for their child. Although all kids are capable of learning, not all kids are performing. And as that family is struggling, so is their school. Maybe they're experiencing a crisis in leadership. Maybe the school district is spending its money poorly. These problems hurt not just one family, but the entire community. So if you've convinced yourself that it is someone else's problem, it is not. The failure to educate children is everyone's problem. One child, just one child left in the dark or struggling has a profound impact on our society. But it's not just one child. It's hundreds, thousands of kids over the years left in the dark. Standing right there in the dark next to them, we see their parents. Parents who just lack information. See, there's no simple rating system where a parent can learn how well their school is performing. They just don't know. And while we rate everything in society, music, movies, Facebook statuses, hospitals, hotels, and restaurants, when it comes to our children's education, we don't get a report card. And we're not just talking about the lack of dining options here. We're talking about a total lack of options for the one thing that's going to shape a child's mind, impact future earnings, and nurture the future of our planet. We might ask if it's the school's fault, but they may lack quality leadership. They may have had decades of financial mismanagement. They may take their great teachers for granted. So is it the teacher's fault? A tenured teacher can remain in place regardless of their effectiveness while teachers have more and more responsibilities heaped on their plates. It's very difficult to be a teacher, a guidance counselor, soccer coach, social worker, all at the same time. We demand so much but give no security or reward to great teachers. It doesn't have to be this way. SEAM is reimagining education. Remember that family? The one who knows their child is struggling but isn't sure where to begin? Imagine that that parent gets online to find out more about her child's school. She finds out that just like her son, the school is getting D's. They have poor attendance and graduation rates and their students don't perform very well on standardized tests. It should be as easy as seeing a letter grade of A to F to find out how well your child's school is performing. Now that she knows that the school could be a large part of her son's problem, imagine she spends a few minutes online and gets information about other schools her son could attend. She may look at a private or parochial school and find scholarships to help pay for tuition. She may research a magnet school and learn about art or science curriculum that could possibly help her son get interested in learning again. Or she may find that a virtual or homeschool option is a good way to keep her son connected to classwork while allowing the family to be more flexible. Perhaps there is a charter school nearby with a creative approach that just might reach her son a little bit better. She might even find a neighborhood school that is getting an A. With all those options in hand, the family sits down at dinner one night to talk and decides that the Language Immersion Charter School is going to be the best option for their family. It's nearby, has no tuition, and their son is excited to learn a new language. He is actually excited about learning. See, when information is transparent and accessible, people can make better decisions. Not only are options great for parents and kids, but neighborhood school administrators begin to think more creatively. 
They want to make changes to the failing school. If you are in competition with other schools, you have to offer something that attracts the parents. Your school is no longer guaranteed a certain number of students. If they can go anywhere, why should they come to this school? That's a conversation that will drive change and help a principal lead her staff towards meaningful changes, creative solutions, and just overall better accountability. But just like parents, principals need information too. If you were that principal trying to turn her school around, which would you prefer? A system where you have to keep a tenured teacher who may be disinterested and constantly absent, while at the same time laying off an energetic, passionate teacher simply because he's new to teaching? Or would you prefer to fill your school with excellent teachers, both new teachers excited to launch a career and seasoned professionals who can mentor your new teachers? With objective rather than subjective evaluations, principals can make better personnel decisions that reward the best teachers, not just the ones that have been there the longest. And as much as you try to be everywhere at once, it's just not possible to be in every class all the time. Imagine that you have data about how well your teachers are educating their students, where each child was when they entered the classroom, and then what they've gained by the end of the school year. That could be a blueprint for rewarding your great teachers, and then also for spending more time with those who aren't doing as well. For the first time ever, data on teacher performance can have a transformational effect on the way we administrate and educate. No more speculation, no more tenured-based layoffs. Teachers have an incredibly hard job and should be paid like the professionals they are, because when teachers perform better, students perform better. From there, we can imagine businesses and jobs anchored around a strong school. We can imagine those students graduating and pursuing college or a career. When we reimagine education like this, our children have limitless opportunities in life. And what does SEAM have to do with all of this? SEAM is dedicated to reimagining education in three vital areas. One, accountability and transparency. Two, educator effectiveness and three, parental options. We are building a network of parents who are knowledgeable and equipped to communicate with other parents, elected officials, and the media about the need for common sense, student-centered policies. What does this look like, you ask? By 2016, we will have built a network of over 5,000 concerned parents and other stakeholders just like you. This will include supporters who are making their voices heard by contacting their state legislators or writing letters to the editor. So pledge your support today and then host a parent academy in your community. Inform your friends and family about education issues here in Missouri. This is a movement and it's starting now. See, one parent's voice can start a dialogue about education reform. Can you even imagine the impact of 100 parents' voices in a school district? Or how powerful it would be for 5,000 people to demand action from the State Board of Education? Together, we can hold everyone accountable for the success of our children. It's not enough to imagine a new future for education. We can have quality education for all kids in Missouri. And that starts with you. Join the movement and sign the pledge today.